the first module gives an overview of challenges in apparel merchandising apparel business is part of fashion business and as much is a much different from other businesses such as fast moving consumer goods fmcg or electronic white goods etc when a customer goes to an apparel specialty store and looks at merchandise to select a suitable dress what is that the customer looks for while taking a decision to select or not to select is it the quality is it the fabric or is it the price or is it the comfort yes all the above are important parameters in upper consumer buying behavior however none of them is a primary factor of consideration yes the primary factor of consideration is whether the fashion that dress represents is the latest is it in vogue or not it is the primary factor influencing the decision to buy or not to buy consumers would like to buy something in vogue and flaunt it to others to appreciate the psychological satisfaction of wearing a fashion in vogue is more important than utility factors of course uh, consumer do consider other factors such as quality price but only after they are sure about the fashion trend a store may design and introduce many collections of clothing but the acceptability of these collections by customers is big question yes customers may as well not accept some of them or good number of them or many of them if customers do not accept and sales do not pick up then the retailers are left with huge amounts of unsold goods these unsold goods become obsolete with the time as the fashion change and once obsolete it is much more difficult to sell them this is known as risk of product obsolescence this is a major risk in apparel business so how to reduce this risk how to increase the acceptability of collections designed developed and introduced in the market by the retailers can the retailers wait to see what are the fashions currently in vogue and develop their collections accordingly it is simply not possible because fashions keep changing with time and seasons the only thing constant about fashion is change what is accepted becomes fashion and what is rejected becomes obsolete so fashion is all about acceptance by the majority the main elements of fashion are change acceptance time and the season as a result of change of fashions with time and seasons the product turnover is very high in apparel business this means that the life cycle of products is very short a shorter product life cycle is another challenge in apparel business this means that you need to keep the changing your merchandise as per the changes in the fashions can retailers bring the product designed developed and produced to the retail outlet faster unfortunately they cannot another challenging factor in apparel business is that the lead times are significantly longer long lead times apart from the other challenges listed previously make the fashion business an immensely challenging industry let us now look at 
supply chain of apparel business. The supply chain involves various processes like spinning, weaving, knitting, dyeing, printing, garment manufacturing and then bringing the merchandise to retail stores. Each process has its own lead time, ranging from a minimum to a maximum. There are challenges again regarding the behavior of apparel customers. How much, at what price and when do they buy? These are the challenges that need to be addressed. So, the challenges in apparel business are 1. Risk of product obsolescence, 2. Longer lead times and 3. Short life cycles and the fourth one is higher product turnover. As it stands, we have product obsolescence risk, whether customers accept the merchandise designed, developed and produced and brought to the stores by retailers. How can the risk be reduced, especially in view of long lead times of apparel business? The only way to reduce the risk is to predict what fashions are going to be in vogue for the coming seasons and then design, develop and produce the merchandise accordingly. This is where fashion forecasting comes into picture. Fashion forecast makes a scientific prediction of fashions expected to be in vogue for a particular season and year. Fashion forecast is made in terms of fashion design elements. What are fashion design elements? They are as follows. Styles and silhouettes, colors, fabrics and textures, accessories that go with the given category. The fashion forecast is made for each of the product category such as menswear, women's wear, etc. and for a particular season and year. For example, fashion forecast for men's wear spring summer season 2016 or men's wear winter autumn for 2016. The fashion forecast is made generally two years in advance of the season for which the forecast is made. Why two years? Two years is the maximum time required by the entire supply chain to tune itself to the predicted fashions. Fashion forecasting makes an important contribution to the apparel industry in reducing the risk of product obsolescence and to face the challenges of longer lead times and short life cycles of products. Retailers adopt predicted fashion design elements from appropriate fashion forecasts in their design and development to plan a particular merchandise assortment for the coming seasons. This helps them to increase the acceptance of their merchandise, thereby reducing the risk of product obsolescence. Unless the potential sales required optimum stock purchases and markdowns are properly managed, a store cannot be successful. This requires proper merchandise planning in terms of the estimated sales, optimum stock levels, purchases and markdowns. This planning is done in terms of value of merchandise. Hence, it is often called dollar merchandise plan. 